in neurology and neuroscience research steady state visual evoked potentials are signals that are natural responses to visual stimulation at specific frequencies with that in mind let's talk about what are these signals used for i am dinwan jayakrama and welcome to the topic of internet of thoughts chapter 8 Evoked potentials are the electrical signals measured from the scalp after the stimulation rendered by some external stimulus. Corresponding to various stimuli, evoked potentials are distinguished as visual, auditory, and somatosensory evoked potentials. Talking about visual evoked potentials, these are the brain activity modulations occurring in the visual cortex after encountering visual stimulus. They are easy to detect as the movement of stimulus closer to the central visual field immensely enhance the amplitude of VEP. Small amplitude in stable visual evoked potentials were generated which were entitled steady state visually evoked potentials of the human visual system. They are hence steady state visual evoked potentials are defined as the potential elicited by the change in the visual field with the frequency higher than 6 Hz. SSVEP is usually acquired from various electrode sites like OEZ, O1, O2, PEZ, P3, P4 and some surrounding locations to occipital region. While the most commonly used SSVEP frequency range is 4 to 6 Hz, the resonant phenomenon is generally observed around 10, 20, 40, and 80 Hz. Various features are procured from the properties of the brain signals that have discriminative information embedded in them. Various feature extraction techniques are used to extract such features when overlapped in the time and space by several brain signals. The feature extraction in SSVEP signals were often done with study of amplitude in the target frequency followed by independent component analysis the fast fourier transfer continuous wavelet transfer hilbert hunk transfer or the psd can be used the classification algorithms designate boundaries between various target in the feature space on the basis of feature vectors involved considering the independent variables. The classification methods for SSVP signals are heterogeneous in nature, like Bayesian classifier, linear discriminant classifier, support vector machine, and k nearest neighbor. A PCI is an artificial intelligence system that has the ability to identify particular set of patterns in the brain signals to provide an additional output channel for the control of artificial devices like restoring motor functions, robot terms, communication programs. SSVP based BCIs are classified into following categories. First, time modulated VEP. In this BCI, the follow up or flash sequence of various stimuli are orthogonal in time, that is, they are strictly non-overlapping or stochastic in nature. Second, frequency modulated VEP. In this BCI, stimuli are made to flash at some exclusive frequency and the potential evoked is generated with the fundamental frequency same as that of the stimuli as it harmonized. Third, pseudorandom code modulated. In this BCI, a pseudorandom sequence defines the duration of on and off status of each stimulus. This mode yields the highest communication speed. As a summary, in steady state visual evoked potential based experiments, the user is asked to identify the target with eye gaze. The attention of the user is supposed to be visually fixed on the target and the target is identified by feature extraction and its analysis. So I hope you all learn about the fundamentals of SSVEP. In future topics, I will be discussing more about feature extractions and classifiers in brain computer interfaces. So that's a wrap up for the chapter 8 video. I'll see you around.